up. The first question is, um, Creator and yourself have been using the word hate so many times in your albums and in your lyrics. Uh, can you describe for you what is uh, the word, what that is the meaning of the word hate? Because you use it in a kind of a creative way to express uh, maybe positive and uh, rebellious thing. Uh, can you extend on this? The word hate is just as relevant as the word love, you know. I mean, in the, in the uh, it's, it's the opposite. It's the yin and yang. Um, it's one of the most extreme feelings that a human being the can actually feel, and um, it's a very emotional word. And it's, uh, like you said, we're not using it randomly. We, we, we want to, like, with our music, what we do is like we try to. If I use the word hate, it's not in a negative way, you know, it's, uh -huh. it's more in a, it is there, it is there, you know, anyone, anyone has it inside, and we're trying to get rid of it, that's why we're using it in our lyrics, and um, like I said, it's one of the most intense uh, emotions that you can feel, and I think it's, it should have a place in metal, that's why we're using it. Sure. <laughs> Do you think that people through hate can release a lot of stuff that they have inside and, yes. and can rebel yes. against? Not only rebel, it's not only rebellion, it's like, to me it's a form of energy that can be used either way. Either you keep it inside and then it eats you up from inside, yeah. or you let it out and turn it into something positive. It could be music, it could be sports, it could be literature, it could be, it could be you know, you can, you know, work on a creative, on a creative level and and make sure that this that, that you can like kind of use this emotion to create something that was there before. So that's how we use it, mm -hmm. um, rather than just keeping it inside because it's there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, right now there are a lot of protests all over the world and riots and uh, uh, sacking, looting everywhere. Right now in Argentina there are a lot of problems with that. We have looting in every province right now because of the government. Of the government, and do you think that it's a time for? A, do you think that it's possible for a global change, um, meaning the people uh, waking up, or do you think that the change is individual? That you, you have to, to there's change. Always, there's always been leaders. There will always be leaders and followers. There will be people that have the ideas, and there's people. There will be people that follow the idea. And at this point in time, I don't see any any change, like in any any. Um, Maybe the, 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 like there's a lot of people that are already awake, but a lot of people are still asleep and will always stay asleep, you know, will always be asleep. And I don't yeah. think it's it's going to be a global uh, phenomenon because not everyone is able to reflect a certain way. So a lot of people don't want to change. The majority of the people, I'd say like 80% at least. Yeah. So, I agree with that. Yeah. No one to awake. Yeah, yeah, because it's, 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 they, they feel cozy in their little spot that they got for the main yeah. themselves. And, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very comfortable situation for yeah. these people. And um, so, in my opinion, there will be a global change. There is already a global change in, in a certain group of people. Yeah. It might be the people for the next generation to come after we are here with that. You know, maybe they kind of like remember their ideas and make something for the next generation. All right. This generation, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's like you said, it's an individual thing. And if you change something within yourself, you expect it to change it anyway. And then you live a, a lot, a life that's a lot richer when you're not looking at things. If you close your eyes to certain to certain uh, reality, yeah. your vision gets like this, and when you when you open your eyes, it gets like this. Sure. So sure. you can make whatever you want out of it. Sure. Uh, maybe you and Lemmy from Motorhead are very well known for expressing your hate towards politicians. So, uh, what is your take on politics right now? Being very brief, and what do you think about anarchy as as, um, as an idea? Uh, as an idea, as yeah. An idea, it's good, but, um, I don't think it's gonna work. Not with, not in this. Not with these people. You know, not, not, not with sure. people that live in this world. If you would have anarchy, you know what happened? The first thing that would happen is like people would break into your apartment and take all your stuff because sure. anarchy, right? And 
So I, I think it's not it's not quite that. The idea is good, but like the human race is just not ready. Mm -hmm. um, I had the same opinion about politicians as Lemmy. I, I'd say he said some some. I, I read something. I read a quote that he said that they're all liars and thieves. He's absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. And, um, there's no not more that I can say. I mean, of course, it's more complex. It's very easy. Yeah, sure. But on the other hand, that's the bottom line. That's the basic. Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. And uh, well, you have a famous song, yes. "Enemy of God." That uh, I interpret the, the, that song that you. Um, I might, might be wrong, but you. I guess you think that religion may be the enemy of God. But what is? Uh, do you believe in a God or? What can you say about it? I'm on and off, you know, I don't believe in the God, I believe that I'm here right now, and I believe that I can play, I have, uh, uh, I have, I'm gifted, I can play music and bring it to the people, and that is a reality, mm -hmm. and if you, once you, I mean, I, 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 I read this theory not too, not too long ago, that as soon as you're able to reflect and realize that you're here, and you, you can move things, that's the God, the God spark, so to speak, you know, that's something, you are your own God, you know what I mean? And as, yeah. as soon as you realize that, and if that's God, yes, I do believe in God because it's there. It's a reality. Yeah. But in the in the in the um, metaphoric sense, yeah, like that there is like a, a some force outside of us that controls us, or you know, or watches over us and yeah. touches us. No, that's it's all bullshit. You. It's yeah. all you. Sure. There's, there's not more than the human being and the beauty of being alive. It's, a, it's enough. There's no, there's no need for hell, heaven. There's no need for that because it's already here. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, I think well, everybody knows that Creator, together with Sodom and Destruction, maybe are the, the three most important thrash metal bands from Europe. And uh, what do you feel about uh, a lot of uh, dead metal bands and uh, being like the Godfathers of Scandinavian dead metal? Uh, do you feel proud of that? Uh, and some black metal bands also cite you as well? I, 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 I'd say that it's, it's giving and taking. You know, there is a lot of the Scandinavian bands that we have inspired that inspire us nowadays and vice versa, you know. So it's like, to me it's like, there's music and there's a certain form of uh, expressing yourself yeah. musically. And um, we've been there from 1984. By onward, so it's just natural that we have released, uh, 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 influenced some of the bands that came after us, just as much as possessed Slayer, Metallica, um, Pirates, um, oh, sure. Destiny Savage. Have, uh, have, those bands have, you know, they they have influenced us. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and if we can give something back, that's fine. That's great. You know. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, the last one. Okay. Um, what do you feel that have changed uh, since Endless Pain to your present day regarding your artistic control over your band and your view uh, and your passion towards what you do? What is, and, and maybe the, the, the business surrounding the band, what is essentially what do you feel that have changed since the first album up until now? I have to say that when we did the first album, we were still teenagers, we were very young, very young. And uh, so we didn't know what would happen. You know? To us it was like a big adventure. So we think, oh, we're going to do another album. Oh, we're never going to do a second album. And all of a sudden, oh, we're going to do a second album. Yeah. So, of course, now, you know, with all the experience um, of, from, from touring the world many, many times, you yeah. have a different view on things, you know. It's not, it's, it's, it's I, I'd say today it's better. Because I have total experience. I, I, have, I have complete creative control over everything. Sure. I, do. I have um, com complete control over anything that uh, happens business-wise. You know, yeah. Anything. And um, uh, and the experience. Yeah, the experience. And of course, it's not that it didn't get any easier. But but it's a lot of work, and it's, it is a lot of work. But it's a it's the kind of work that I like doing. You know. Okay. Um, because it's, I do it for for me and the man. And um, so, to me, it's, 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 it's really like, this is the most exciting time right now, you know, because I'm way more, um, I know more, so it's getting, uh, yeah, I picture, know. it's like puzzles, yeah. puzzles, 
uh, the pieces are and slowly being put together, and it's, I see the whole picture now. It's, it's, it's a lot more fun nowadays than when it was when I was younger. Because when I was younger, I was distracted by too many other things, you know, mm -hmm. alcohol, drugs, and all that. Sure. And now it's this none of that anymore. Okay. Well. Okay. Thanks a lot, Miller. Thank you, man. Thanks.